did these, these, this first abstract inflatable and the next couple, which were still abstract, they had this, this breathing uh, thing going on, this, this, um, this movement, mm -hmm. and it sort of implied the figure, implied a, a figure. And right. so I thought, well, let's just try a figure. And I felt um, um, uh, somewhat transgressive in, in even making a figure mm -hmm. at that time. And I made my first set and didn't really know how to show them. I thought about having them hooked up in various ways to heating systems or the wall or, or uh, coming out of the ceiling or something. And nothing really gelled until I had a chance to show them in, um, uh, in Halifax in an exhibition. And to get them to Halifax, I put them in a box and I thought, oh, that'd be nice. They just came out of the box and that's the installation. Mm -hmm. And um, and that and that also then gelled the, the sort of some sort of conceptual idea around the figure mm -hmm. and how it can be used and a sort of critique of mechanization and, and oh, um, all that sort cool. of that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, flesh being mechanized in in, in labor in industry and in, mm -hmm. in the assembly line that kind of thing. That was kind of what my thinking was. The uh, the movement of these things was so eerie. Mm -hmm. and real in a way, even though they were so unreal in their material. They were mm -hmm. this really synthetic material, but yet when this air would move in and out of them, they really seemed to breathe. Mm -hmm. um, there was something really important going on there that, that, that um, people responded to, mm -hmm. and that I continue to respond to, I guess. Mm -hmm.